Okay, this is where I'm at with my zombie containment area door prop that I'm building. So as you can see, you got the got a little red red light beacon right now. That's not going to be hooked up. That will eventually be hooked up here in the future. You'll see the security window with a metal plate in there. That's actually a TV monitor, and so the rest of the rest of the door, which I've been painting to, painting to make it look as though it's a stainless steel metal door. That's been aged around for, for a while. Now I'll show you the, what the video does. This is, this is a pretty cool video. What's going to happen is when it trips, so when the prop's completed and it and they trip and it trips the sensor at a certain point, so it'll sit there. The commence a video in that security window, and here is the video. I'm going to turn it sideways just to get the whole video. And when he punches, it's going to cause an indentation into the door. I'll tell you about that more. So it's two punches. Remember that part of the video. And that's all the door there. See, when that one alarm starts out, and that's when I'll, I'll have that red rotating beacon come on. But see, the door is actually, even though it looks like it's a metal door from back here, it's actually covered with a uh, spandex cotton fabric, as you can see the fabric hanging from the sides. Well, when he hits the door, what it's going to do is it have two cutout spots, one right here. It's going to put an impression of a fist on there when he hits. See? And then there's also another spot on the other side of the door, which was going to do the same thing. And then once the video is completed, so the whole system will reset itself, and the, the fist will go back in its regular position, as uh, and the door will go back looking like just a flat metal door. Well, so far this is where I'm at. I'll let you, I'll film it again when I have the completed project.